Testing. Test, testing. Greetings, this is Mo Love True. It is April 11th, 2021, and it's 12.41 p.m. Today, we happen to have um, an upcoming chat with a special guest, and essentially what we'll be talking about, it's really just a catch up from when we were um, last in contact. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the video description with my first chat, um, and that'll go, um, that dates back to June 19th, 2018. Okay, so uh, something to look forward to. Now, on to some updates in terms of what has been happening here in Rancho Cordova. Um, let's see. One of the things that has um, uh, come up is my brother, um, my older brother, Jesse, he made contact to let me know that my first boyfriend uh, wrote a letter and informed him that he has cancer. Um, my first boyfriend goes back to 1990. Um, and we met back on the Hawaiian Islands. And um, um, I thanked my brother for uh, relaying this message. And I have taken action uh, in the fashion of Wu Wei, that is, action with no action, because I refuse to contract with old contacts from the previous uh, cycle, right? When station, when station was back in Capricorn, just before it went and entered the Capricorn constellation. Um, so that's that. Um, it's not to be heartless, but it is to, in order to move forward with this next uh, phase of my life, um, it is to not contract and engage with old contacts who um, might not have our best interests in mind. Um, my best guess is because he's part Sicilian, um, that is where uh, this, let's see, this movement to make contact with me comes into play. Uh, let's see. Um, another thing that had come up is when I was um, emailing my brother uh, back and forth, I had given him some information in terms of um, our stepmom. And um, my dad had remarried back in the late 80s, and then he was given a contract to be in South Korea as the foreman for the commissary um, at Busan Air Force Base. And this goes back to 1989. And so I had been given this official passport um, and I had decided uh, it was my senior year in high school and I didn't want to um, go to South Korea wanted to finish my last year in high school back in Waianae. Um, and in the end, it turned out that both my younger brother and my dad had passed away in South Korea. Um, my stepmom, um, or I should say she wasn't my mom, um, she is um, my dad's third wife. Um, Everybody in my family believes that she killed her. Yeah. And um, I have no doubt, for whatever reason, uh, during these travels uh, since 2019, I had found that the grandmother, who's back in Connecticut, her husband uh, is a wood dragon, and he was stationed to be in South Korea. And this goes back to the time when Saturn was in the constellation of Capricorn. And something was happening. Something was being set up for this next cycle. Um, another dragon that I know of 
is um, my stepdad. Uh, my stepdad, um, shortly after meeting my mom back in 1989, um, they had gotten married and he was, um, before he'd met her, he wanted to go to um, maybe Japan or somewhere there in, in the Orient, uh, the South, South Pacific Island, Southeast Asia. And um, they had refused him. But when it came up, the, the new plan, um, for whatever reason, uh, he was sent to South Korea uh, for a year. And um, he is what would be a water dragon, uh, born 1952. Um, the grandmother's ex husband, being a wood dragon, was born 1960. And um, this was all at the same time that my dad was there. My dad is a metal dragon. He was born 1940. So they did not, these dragons, three points create and confirm a straight line. So there was something that was happening in South Korea um, back when Saturn was last in the constellation Capricorn. And I would like to get to the bottom of what that was um, because it seems to be coming up again. Now, in this email that I had with my brother, um, I had mentioned to him that um, I saw, um, when I was last on the Hawaiian Islands, um, just before I left for Switzerland, I saw my dad's third wife on the bus. And because I was living up in um, Aiea, I was running errands just to take care of loose ends before I um, closed all accounts and um, headed off off island. And um, I saw her, we had a chat, and it was when she stepped off the bus that I realized, oh, Dear, that is my dad's ex-wife, or I should say that's my dad's third wife. Um, and my brother Jesse had asked, did she recognize you? And I don't think during that time she realized who I, who I was, but I can imagine, because uh, she was off, she was saying, we were just chatting, really superficial stuff, and she was going to her church on Red Hill, a Korean Red Church on Red Hill, on Oahu. And she said, you can come to my church. And I was like, ah. um, just being polite and really not um, awakened at that point in 2023, or excuse me, 2013. Um, and I just sort of let that go. I don't think she realized that I am uh, her husband. I can imagine she was married a couple of times, maybe at least that was her second marriage to my dad, and I was I'm his daughter. Um, anyway, her name is Kilsoon, K-I-L-S-O-O-N. She never remarried, and she took my dad's last name. And in keeping my dad's last name, she also receives benefits from um, his retirement. And so, um, yeah, I, I would like to get to the bottom of this. Um, another thing is, her business, I'll put a link in the video description. It's, it's one of these Korean bars where there is Korean uh, waitresses or just sort of a hostess, I guess, I don't know what they are. Um, that's how my dad met her. And that Kilsoon had then opened her own uh, Korean bar. Um, she's just perpetuating this uh, nonsense. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, a lot of things sort of went downhill um, after I had refused uh, three times not to go into the Air Force, and that was the spring of 1990. And um, that's when my dad passed away, my younger brother had passed away with him. And um, I want to say between that time, um, about August of, of 1990, is when I met my first boyfriend. So um, with this, I wanted to say that it's important to look at events, um, if you're old enough, to go back to that time frame of 1991 and 1993. Because during those two years, when Saturn was in the Capricorn constellation, there's going to be hints and clues in terms of what's going to come back into your life to set the foundation for the next 30 years. And um, uh, in many ways, I'm just um, being mindful of these individuals who are trying to come in and um, alter my course uh, for what I am definitely set on, uh, just the next phase of my the next, uh, yeah, the next phase of my life. So, um, one final thing that I'd like to end on is a document that um, my hostess um, had provided, and it's, um, this is, let's see, uh, this is by Sandra E. Purnell, and this dates back to uh, February 1978. It's um, the title of this document. Something that looks like it was a mimeograph. Um, I will find a link and put it in the video description. But essentially, its title is Thought Reform, Coercion, and Persuasion A Phenomenological Analysis. Um, and this is for the institution is Western Speech Communication Association. Um, this association actually sounds like a good entity to add as a debtor. Okay, um, now the abstract is all I'm going to read and then I'll be ending the video so I can prepare for um, our chat with our special guests. So, abstract. Thought reform is a calculated strategy of social action designated to covert individuals to another ideology through a long-term process, during which, during which threat underlies all experiences. This article, part of the Freedom of Speech newsletter, incites insights from a phenomenological view of rhetoric are used to explain the nature and impact of thought reform. The following topics are discussed. The definition and basic process of thought reform, the five stages in the system of thought reform developed by the Chinese Marxist revolutionaries, pre-learning, annihilation of identity, introduction of a new identity, validation of this new identity, and maintenance, and the implications of thought reform for the study of human communication. Reproductions supplied by EDRS are the best that can be made from the original document. So the identifiers that um, are, in a nutshell, what this is about is coercion and indoctrination. Uh, for anybody interested, uh, please see the video description for a link to this article. So, um, small love true, out for now. <laughs>